And I think we're near the end of the stage, I think. Maybe. But well designed here is... <gasps> wow. Guys, wake up! Radical just uploaded! So here is Sonic Mega Mix Mania. Start from the get-go, we got Mega Mix mode and Classic mode. I'm gonna go for the former because that's the main mode we're going for. All right, Sunset Hill Zone tutorial stage. So, nice tutorial stage right here. We have a... Uh, so, we test out the uh, movesets for the character. So, Sonic has homing attack right here. Pretty cool stuff. Light speed dash. Nice. Now, the Tails. Tails can do the Tails whip pretty here. Similar to how it was in Sonic Adventure. Now, I assume, like, if I recall, this stage was, like, from the older Sonic Mega Mix ROM hacks. And Fight Cast is pretty cool too. Super Jump. That's pretty cool. And then Knuckles. He can do a drill dive, similar to how it was in Sonic Adventure. Just like that. And obviously, you can, you can glide and climb and flutter jump too. So, you can do a nice little like mini jump while gliding, which is pretty cool. And then Mighty. Wall jump, like always, how it was in the modern Sonic games. And then Instant Shield. Pretty cool. And Hammer and Drop is how it is in Sonic Mania. And on the Shadow, so Shadow has Double Jump and then this move called Jet Stomp here too. So you can like stomp at any like direction pretty much, which is pretty cool. And there you go, it's in the tutorial stage. Off to a great start. All right, Sunny Shore Zone, Act 1. I actually remember playing one of the older Sonic Mega Mix like ROM hacks back in the day on one of those old Sega Genesis websites where you can play Genesis games online, which is pretty cool. I never played a Sega CD one because I didn't know how to do Sega CD emulators at all. From what I've seen, like, it's definitely like has CD quality audio and like pretty much like a huge advancement over Genesis version. With pretty cool stuff. I think you have an option to like choose like between the original music or the Sega CD audio music. So that's pretty cool stuff. But yeah, like this mod, like this like raw, like whoa, well, this mod right here is just so, so cool. Like this really like feels so, like this really feels like a breath fresh air for like Black Sonic pretty much. And look at that, end the stage. Pretty cool stuff. Look at that, it was a cool move right there. I don't know if they're still working on the Sega CD version, but they probably moved to Mania. Cause I mean, Mania is like the main like source for mods nowadays for classic games. So it makes a lot of sense to go too. The backgrounds here look so, so good. Like this, this game here feels like something that Sega would make pretty much like back like in the Sega CD days. Like this makes Mania a completely different game. Like this is crazy. Like this is pretty much where like Mania mods peak pretty much. I know like other mods too, like that Misfits pack and like some other expansion mods, but like those I like, never like saw the light of day pretty much or just left unfinished. Like recently there's a Sonic 2 Mania mod that uh stopped production, they just released like whatever they had, which I mean yeah. Pretty sucks though that like, a lot of like Mania mods like just don't see the light of day outside like the demo stage of it, but like then again, that's how it is pretty much. There are a chance to collect like, what's it called? There was a Unleashed project for the Wii stages and Generations that got uh, scrapped and then someone picked it up uh, immediately and like is now like reworking it pretty much so it's pretty cool. So hopefully one day like some of the Mania mods like the Misfits pack and like the Sonic 2 Mania mods like get picked up by other people and like also like get finished one day. But man they really cooked with the visuals here like this is so breathtaking it's so beautiful it's so like it's literally art right here. Like, high-class art. Oh, that's so cool right there. I love that fall animation. It's oh, that is so cool. So I got boss right here. I think mean, that's from uh, Marvel vs. Capcom, I think. Probably is, actually. I love NBC3, though. A little uh, NBC bias right here. And look at that. I mean, basically the same as the Mania boss, but I mean, like... It's much cooler. Look at that. That KO. Oh my god. They cooked with this mod. Loving it so far. Alright. Dark Fortress Zone F1. Whoa. This looks like if Marble Zone had a spiritual successor, which is very cool. I think Marble Zone is actually like one of the most visually appealing stages in Sonic 1. You got this like nice music here too. I don't know, like, from the game itself, or, like, original, like, music. But, like, this soundtrack 
hits. Actually, this like stage reminds me of that one uh, stage in that Sonic fan game, Sonic Overtune. Yeah, like, it really looks like that one stage from Sonic Overtune. But like this is like literally like peak Sonic Mania mods. I really hope this like this gets finished someday. I mean, then again, you can't guarantee on that, but like still like I mean, if this mock is completed, I'll be excited. The light that just makes it even better. Like it's just so cool. Probably gonna switch to Shadow and Mighty later on. So wait, get this. I'm also gonna switch to Shadow and Mighty, cause why not? I'll probably do that like uh, after like the next stage I go to. Oh shoot, tough. Whoa! For a second, I always thought those were switches. Oh, there's a switch right there. Honestly, too, I might get some flack in the comment section, but like, this is actually better than Superstars. Like, not even joking. It's crazy too, quick. They could have had a whole bunch of Sonic games with this type of style, like the Mania art style, but instead they chose 2.5D with Superstars. I mean, it's not bad at all. Like, Superstar were pretty good, but like, the amount of potential of Sega wasted is just kind of crazy. And here's Dark Fortress Act 2. But yeah, like, like I said before, like, Sega really dropped the ball on, like, not, like, having, like, a bunch of Sonic games with the Mania art style. Like, that would have been sick. Then again, Azuka said that, like, pixel art is pretty much dead, which, I mean, it's sad. But, like, they could make a lot of more money with this stuff. I know Evening started making their own game, like, Pennies for Brickaway. But, like... I really hope one day that like Christian Whitehead and like the team that made Mania come back to Sonic. Cause those are the ones that like refined the classic formula outside of Genesis games. And they're the only ones that like did it justice. Every attempt of classic Sonic, like like Sonic 4 to like generations, even generations, I think it's pretty good actually. And like with superstars too, like I mean like controls are amazing, but like and level is still pretty good too, but like the bosses, the game's flaws and like just makes it two sets back for Sonic Mania. Like it's a decent classic game, but then again it's so far away from the classics. Like Sonic 1, 2 and C D, I'd rather play those over Sonic Superstars. Oh I see a switch right there. They're pretty hidden the switches though actually. Like they kinda like blend in with the stage themselves. Like it's kinda like hard to know. But what can you do? This game already looks visually stunning. When you get a new classic game, I look forward to it. I just hope they like fix the flaws that have with superstars and like make things better pretty much. Like keep the physics, keep the like level design, but like the bosses need to be changed and like not have Super Sonic like walk behind another campaign. Uh like other stuff too, like one thing I get like superstar props though is the emerald powers. Like emerald powers are actually pretty unique. They're kinda of like the wisp in the way, but I think they're better than the wisp, honestly. You would just say like it's like a gimmick pretty much. Like the game feels gimmicky, but at the same time I don't really think that's the case. I mean like you can still play the game about the emerald powers pretty much, so like it's not really like a gimmicky like game pretty much. And I think we're near the end of the stage, I think. Maybe. But level design here is... <sighs> wow. Wait, I'm stuck. Huh? Raggy! So I gotta start the whole stage again, pretty much. One eternity later. It's funny that, like, I was talking about superstars and, like, came across the glitch. That's literally hilarious. Okay. We should hear. Hopefully, we don't, uh... I'll go over that same session again. Okay. Okay, cool. Yeah, that was a weird, a weird glitch right there. Uh oh. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. That's funny that we came across that glitch at near the end of Sage. Okay. Misty Maze Zone with Mighty. Okay, so... Oh, oh! I forgot. He has that wall jump. Pretty cool stuff. Ooh. Pretty cool. I don't like how it's underwater though. Even though I love Tower Tempest. So I guess it's like a stage for Mighty pretty much. Like similar to how like Sonic 3 and like Mania had like stages for Knuckles differently. I take it though. Cause my saw like uh tile like uh oh actually cool. Dang. 
That was very close right there. Okay, how do I make it here? Ooh. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, over here. Nice. Uh-oh, shoot. Already? Okay, come on. Oh, okay, not to say. Anyway, this game about to pull something like one on me. Interesting move right there. That's so interesting. Oh, now he finally made it out of water. Okay, cool. We actually made it here. Nice. Hey. Nice. Be careful there. Okay, tough. Tough. Wait a minute. Try to get there. Cool. What? I didn't see that coming. I'm gonna go over here. Looks more safer, actually, too. Uh oh. Hey. We come in clutch. Hey, cool. Let's do over here. Interesting loop again. These are pretty, like, pretty creative loops. Oh. What are we going to now? Be careful here. Cool. Got that. Nice. Do that. Be careful there. Perfect. Do that. Uh, perfect. Okay. Nice sense of challenge over here. Over there. And... Ooh. You don't see that every day. And... Finally, in the sage. This is a pretty long sage though. But I'm not complaining though. It's a pretty fire one. Misty Maze on Act 2. Let's do this. Ooh. Oh, that background looks very clean right there. Oh. Is that oil? That's not oil, isn't it? It is oil. It's weird because you have like... Oh, not, I don't think it's oil, actually. I think it's like actually uh, water. But the sky is pretty much like the oil texture, pretty much. Uh-oh. Careful here. Hey, we come in clutch. But yeah, like this mod like is full of creativity with the sages too. Like once again, if it was something that Sega would make, pretty much like back in like on the Sega CD days. Oops, I didn't see that coming. What the heck? Uh oh. Shoot, I drown. Tough, 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 tough. Crap. That's why I'm not like a huge fan of like underwater levels pretty much. I mean except for like Tower Tempest and like a couple Mega Man X stages pretty much, but that's like it. And now we're actually uh on ground. Okay, no, no. Oh this is it is oil pretty much. Oil and water does not sound good at all. Ooh! The submarine. What's even different here? Ooh. It actually is I don't think it it is different. That's so cool. That's the best part that's the best part about Oil Ocean and Mania, cause like in Act 2 you can like go under the submarine. That was just so cool. These are basic. Like this is basic, but it's still really cool. Like the submarine isn't crazy, but it's still really solid. Uh oh. Ooh. Uh oh. That's tough. This music is just literally like perfect. And okay. I love the loop so much actually. Like they're weird, but I love it. Okay. Yeah, you can't do that about the hammer drop pretty much. Honestly, too, like with Sonic like, Bucky Dash in the game, too, I feel like uh, this could be great for some speedrunning. I feel like. And. Oh, shoot. Let's go inside the submarine again. Ooh! 
This is very like unique right here. This is such unique like glow design right here. They actually made the freaking uh, submarines like actually pretty fun to go through. And over here. Oh, there you go. Look at this. Look at this. It's so cool. You don't really see, like... Yeah, spin dash here, I think. Oh, yes, sir. And stage is finished. Another long stage, which I'm not complaining about. It's a pretty good one. And on to Starry Night with Shadow. I mean, wanna play a Shadow pretty much. I mean, it's pretty much the year of Shadow, so... Perfect thing to do, actually. Whoa. That run animation is pretty clean. And like... Dang. I like how like a jet run too. I like how the jet stop too. Like you can actually like stop and get some like insane speed pretty much. <laughs> okay. This feels like Hydro City and like Studio Octopus in the one. Ooh. Huh? What? So those things can crush you pretty much. Interesting. And uh oh. Do that. Get a checkpoint. Just in case. Okay. Look at this right here. Ooh, I like how like when you like try to turn, like you get a nice unique run like animation there. This is vocals. Wow. And okay, so lightning shield. There's a like a crap ton of like Eggman like item box I've been seeing. You don't see that every day, pretty much. Look at this very cool stuff right here, bruh. I act stupid right there, pretty much. I forgot to even like move there. Oh, freaking enemy! In the way. Be careful there, cool. Get the fire shield. Cool. This is such wow, like this is so cool. And look at that. End the sage. Love the graffiti art right there. And here's act two. Whoa. Look at the amount of speed you get too. This is so cool. I don't know like we get Oh we got a shout of hedgehog music playing. One thing actually pretty nice too, like a nice sense of detail is that like uh each character got a different like results screen and like like speed shoot music pretty much. That's really cool. Get some speed right there. And that's spring Ruby. Oh okay, jump. Did that perfectly. And right here. Okay, I think I'm supposed to jump over here. Okay, finally progressed to that section. And he got SA1 jingle playing too. That's also awesome. And over here. The amount of speed you get too, and like so many like slopes too, is so cool. I'm just like, I thought those spikes there. <laughs> I really... And got hit by my fire shield. That's... And oh! Boss right here. Basically the same as Studio Opus, but... Hey, I take it. I think it'd be too much to like the program, like, actual, like... Custom bosses, pretty much, but... Hey. 
I'm not complaining though. Like these bosses are already amazing. And get that boot missile. Perfect. Beat the egg robo. I mean, if you play Mania, you know this boss already. But like, it's so, still cool to this day. But even then, like this boss is still really, really cool. Like this is how you do a scripted boss, pretty much. You have a lot going on. It this is perfect. But look at that speed I got too before then. And spin dash. Throw the ball, pretty much. And yeah, he's defeated. And yeah, end the stage right there. Really, really cool mod.